The previous analytics video shows the ease at which motion detection can be set up on Cathexis Vision. However, the setup does take a little fine-tuning to eliminate false triggers caused by noise and artifacts in the scene. A series of tools are provided to effortlessly do this. The first tool allows us to adjust the zone and sensitivity settings and is found in the Events tab. The zone, or where to look, can easily be adjusted to include or exclude areas. In the analytics setup, clicking the Run button allows us to observe the motion events and the effects of adjusting the sensitivity setting. The sensitivity setting instructs the algorithm how hard to look for motion and if left at the default setting of super high will cause even small changes in the scene to be considered as motion, even shadows and variations in light intensity. Adjusting the sensitivity to a more suitable setting will reduce the amount of scene changes that are regarded as motion and helps reduce false triggers. This can be seen by clicking the Run button and starting the VMD test. Another aspect of the motion detection algorithm that can be adjusted is the minimum and maximum amount of motion in the scene that is regarded as motion. This is done by setting the min and max cells. Adjust these settings and then click the Run button to start the VMD test, and then select the Graphs tab and choose Zones. A timeline of the detected motion, as well as a graphical representation of the cells of motion in the scene and the minimum threshold that was set will be shown. Changing this threshold eliminates small objects such as cats from triggering the event. This can be tuned to suit the site. When the threshold is exceeded, the event is triggered. Note that these are not adjacent motion cells, but rather a total count of motion cells in the zone. The background model and noise suppression settings can also be adjusted. Various methods can be used to compare the foreground or incoming image with the background or reference image. The best method to use is the accurate tracking, unless an alternative is specifically called for. Noise is small changes that are seen as motion, but is not actual motion, and can be caused by shadows of grass or leaves rustling in the wind or similar anomalies. If noise filtering is set too high, it helps the algorithm eliminate noise, but the downside is that some actual motion might not be detected. Remember that there are no fixed rules and each site will be different. Finally, the day-night setting compensates for the drastic changes in conditions between day and night and can be set to change either at a predetermined time schedule or a light intensity threshold. For a more in-depth handling, see our video analytics white paper. Thank you for watching.